QT couple hollering at you. Today we're gonna be putting together a bed off of Amazon from a brand called Shashur Lynn or something like that. <laughs> this is a twin size bed. This is gonna be the new bed for our five year old baby boy. This should give him some more space. What size was the bed that we had in here before? Queen. Had a queen size bed, big frame and all that in there. So give him some more room to actually move around in there. Man. Got him a smaller bed. Gonna have some uh, Spider-Man decorations and whatnot on it. So let's see what this bed has to offer. We're gonna put it down in the uh, comment section below. We'll put a, a link to the bed down in there in case you decide you wanna get it as well. Or if you already was looking at it and you just wanna see how big it is in real life, how hard it is to put together and all that. Let's see if we can help you out with that. Supposedly, the capacity is 800 pounds. We're gonna see about that. So we got our frame right here. You got your little parts right here. Nuts, bolts, little tool. I probably ain't gonna use that. I got something that I'm gonna use that'll be easier. A little protection. I like it pretty straightforward. So you have to get your own mattress for it. Of course, this is just the frame and the uh, headboard in there. Headboard in there. There's a little mattress right here that we got. Facebook Marketplace. A little something, a little twin mattress to go with this frame. Let's go ahead and start putting this thing together. So the instructions look to be pretty straightforward. It's pretty minimal. Boom, so it ain't but six pages total. So let's see what we can do. Shouldn't be too hard. Step one, get your headboard. Take parts A and B. Each one of the parts got little stickers on them. We can see it right there on the side, A and B. And then we're gonna use the K2 nuts in here. And then we're gonna attach it to the headboard accordion. A is gonna be on the left, aka this side. And then B is gonna be on this side. Make sure you have two holes right there immediately. Beside you got two more holes. You wanna line it up like that before you screw it in. So don't screw it in backwards like that. To save some time, I decided to use my drill. All I'm gonna do is turn the torque down on it. If you got one of these, that's what these numbers mean. You turn down the torque. So that way I don't over tighten or strip my screws. So I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. All right, we got them pieces uh, locked in. And you'll know you did it in the right direction if you see these holes right here on the same side as your headboard. So whatever side that the uh, plush little faux leather side is, that's where you should see these holes because that's where you're going to connect the rest of your frame. Next part, you're going to need parts G and F. And then you're going to need the K3s in here. And you should have two G's and two F's. Make sure your holes are on the same side. Like this. And then you just push them through and then unlock them. Like that. And then you're gonna screw in right there. Put your K3's right there on both sides. So this step should be pretty easy. In our pack, we got a, a broken bolt. You see right here, it's all cracked and everything. It ain't supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like this. So the broke one and the proper one. So. We're going to make it do what it do. We're going to try to make it work. So the broken bolt, we got it in there, made it work. So it's still doable even if you do got a bolt that looks like that. It still worked out. We still had just enough grip to be able to screw it in there properly. So now let's do our other F and G. Okay, we got both our F and G's put together. Now we got to uh, utilize H and then we're going to connect them together. You connect them together right here, right, right under where you screwed just now. So that's at the bottom. Should line up nice and properly. Boom, like so. You want your, uh, you see the curve right there? You want that little curve to be on the bottom, like so. Connect it with your K4s from the pack right here. It should be all right, let's do it. Once you got your H frame on there, should look like this, you know? Not bad at all, not bad at all. Now we got our eye pieces. They look like this right here. You're gonna use this with your K6s. Those are the longer bolts right there. And then you're gonna uh, have to use the K8 washers as well. Use that. You connect it to your H under the holes right here. So you can put it under, line it up like that. Screw it in and then we'll have uh, the frame at least 
the mid part of the frame done and we connect it to that and there's one other uh d piece where it's right here against the wall and you're just about done and after that it's just putting the little support rings on there okay we got our uh boat and our washer on there along with uh eye you're gonna also need this k7 right here in order to screw on uh, to the back of this in order to tighten it up because if you just put it through it's just gonna be dangling like that so with a little piece that you got at the bottom i can get that in focus for you utilize this and screw it on so it don't do that we're on the final piece we got all this connected all we got to do is now connect our main piece to the frame right here once again if you got your uh bolts aligned properly you should be all right top screw bottom screw pretty straightforward put that in and then we almost done this is a good example right here of why i'm not using the uh, little joint that came with it see this right here even if you're using the short side you're going to, have to twist take it out twist and do all that anybody got time for that anybody got time for that you find your piece that fit done with that little piece that would took 10 15 minutes Okay, maybe not literally, but probably literally about five minutes for real. At least. Made life so much easier. And you hear that? Set your torque right now. You hear that? That's stopping me from stripping it. 12 right there. So that's why I got it on. It's been working fine for me. Try less and move up if you need to. Finally, you get part D. Put the holes on that side, and you're gonna do the same thing right here. Alright, we got our frame done right here everything is drilled in ready to go and now we can put our uh, support up here and then they got the corresponding buckles as well here's a close-up of the instructions pay attention to the direction of the buckle so i'm gonna slide one in and then uh give you the rundown on on what it should look like this part kind of tricky i ain't even gonna lie to you you put this piece on here and then trying to squeeze it and get it on here at first it was kind of tricky but that's only because I put the buckle on there first. But what you got to do is, before you put a buckle on, to put it in, push it back, and then you should be able to get the other side in there pretty easy. Then you can pull and do that. If you don't do that first and you put a buckle on first like I did right there, it's going to be hard to get this side in. You got to kind of finesse it and bend it or do whatever to get in there. So put it in there first and then put the buckle in there. You should be good. I was about to say, this about to be a little bit rougher than what I thought. But yeah, if you just do it like that, you see like this right here, how it's in there like that. You can kind of push it back. Well, well actually look, this stops it from going back further. So you have to pick it up, slide that whole piece in there. You see how it's in there? So not like that, but like that. And then it makes it really easy to get this side on. It don't really say that in instructions. But if you don't do that little piece, you're going to be out here looking crazy. Here we go. We got the final product. Here's the frame right here. Not bad. Not bad. Not too bad to put together. And here we go. Final result with a little mattress on there. Nice tucked off in the corner. Supposedly could support 800 pounds. I am 230 right now. Take a little seat. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, feel pretty sturdy. I ain't gonna lie. Feel pretty sturdy. But anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully, this video helped you out a little bit. If so, show us some love. Greatly appreciate it. Till next time, peace.